Namaste or assalamu alaikum dosto. I'm here at Liberty Bazaar in Lahore and I'm here to get two salva kameez stitched. So I'm going to take you into the store and I'm going to show you how you can get a salva kameez or a kurta stitched here in Pakistan. And it's the same process for India as well, exactly the same. All right, bro, so I'm looking for two salva kameez. Okay. I want to get one made from this, this gray fabric. My friend gave me this, my friend in Sahiwal. Okay. And he said, make this into a salva kameez and send me a photo. And then I want to get, I also want to get a white salva kameez. Similar fabric? Yeah, what, fabric, what fabrics are available actually? We have a pure cotton. Okay. The white one and the other one is a similar, like that. This is the white. This is pure cotton or something else? No, it's, synthetic? It's a synthetic. Wash and, and wear. Which is more expensive? What are the prices? It's a little bit, I guess. This, is, this synthetic is more expensive than cotton? Yeah, a little bit. Really? Okay. It should be... And it feels more... This is pure cotton. The synthetic feels more smooth, actually. Yeah. This feels nice. Cotton needs stars and cotton needs some other issues. This is 80% polyester and 20% cotton. I think I'll go for the cotton, 100% cotton. We'll keep it natural, okay? Oh, wow. There's a huge difference in color here. This is more cream yeah. than, this is white. than white. This both, are, both are very fine, but the, this is letta fabric. It's different, this is different, you know? Yeah, mm. it's pure Pakistani made. And where's this one made? It is imported. Imported from cotton. Or China somewhere. Oh yeah, Italy, China. But okay. I'd rather get stuff obviously made in Pakistan. We should be supporting Pakistani goods, so I'm definitely not gonna take the imported fabric. I don't want no made in China stuff, you know? I also want to promote our fabric. That's this what we have to do, man. This is also our fabric. Nice. I want this one. I like the cream color. Yeah. This color is very good. Nice color. The white's very tough, right? Okay, yeah, voila. Okay. And what kind of salva kameez can we make then? I know, I think there's two styles, right? With the collar and without collar. Ah, band. so there's collar and there's band. You want embroidery on it? Design. Embroidery? No, simple. I like it simple. Okay. I want to look like Ahmadmi, common man. Okay. Mango I don't, man. I don't want to look fancy. Mango you know? man. Mango man. You don't say Ahmadmi in Pakistan? Yes. Matlab common man, mango man. Mango is arm. That's a literal translation, yeah. This is two patterns of shalwar kameez. So this is a band collar, it's circular. And then we have, you know, a normal kind of European collar as well. I'm gonna take one of each. So the gray, let's do the band collar with the gray, okay? That gray fabric we have. Because, um, I don't know, gray looks quite kind of professional and so does so to this kind of band collar. For everyday style, we're gonna go with the normal kind of shirt collar here. And we're gonna get this one done in this kind of cream fabric, 100% made in Pakistan. 7,000 rupees for all, for the fabric and the stitching as well. How much is stitching around? 1,600. 1,600 rupees, okay. Now we're gonna go for the measurement phase. So the salva kameez is gonna be tailored to me and the fit is gonna be absolutely perfect. So when I got this done in India last time, it didn't go so well. Um, they took the measurements and it just came out super, 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 super slim fit. And I, I couldn't wear the three, um, the, the three quarters that I got made there. But here you can, you can tell them, do you want regular or, or slim fit here in Pakistan? And I'm not gonna go for slim fit. The style on the street is definitely regular fit, hey now? Yes. So. We won't go slim fit. In India, I'll wear the slim fit type, type of kordata, actually. I put on a lot of weight since getting to Pakistan. I have to get rid of that weight. If you want to buy ready-made, you'll get a ready-made salva kameez for about 4,000 rupees, right? Around that for for a good quality one. 
depending if it's plain or if it's quite extravagant with a lot of embroidery, but obviously if paying a bit more, you get it stitched and customized according to your body type. So fit's gonna be good. When you buy the ready-made, usually the, it's a bit, it's a bit, it can be a bit long on the arms and a bit long on the legs as well. That's what I've noticed. So it kind of, sometimes my old silver kameez, they kind of hit the ground and get a bit dirty. But the sizing will be perfect doing it this way. So it's gonna take a week to get them stitched. Yes, okay. Yes, we need to. Okay, how much is final bill? So 8,600 rupees all up for one completely stitched salva kameez made from Pakistani. It's cotton, right? Yeah, 100% pure cotton. 100% pure cotton from Pakistan. And 1,600 just for the stitching of this gray material that I was gifted from my lovely friends in Sahiwal. And I can come and pick it up after one week. Yes. They need a little bit of time to give it to the Darazi and, and get it stitched. And do I pay now or I pay later? Yeah, you have to pay now. Okay, pay up front. That usually freaks me out to pay up front, but we're in quite a nice store, so I don't think we're going to have an issue. And we'll come back in like a week and meet and I'll try them on. Definitely. Cool, thank you so much, bro. No Allah Hafiz. I just want to hammer one more point home on not paying full up front. Like, if you don't know the store is good quality and if you don't know the tailors are great, then, man, try not to pay up front if you can. Say, I'll pay you if you do a good job. I'll pay you after I've tried it on, okay? That is honestly the best thing that you can do. If you're in a store, which is not like a really, really nice store like that one behind me that I went into, okay? If you're at like a kind of roadside tailor, do not pay up front. Pay after you've tried it on to make sure it fits because if it doesn't fit, the guy hasn't done his job right and you should not have to pay and you can't even wear it anyway, so what's the point? But I'm confident because my friend has had many, many of his salabakami stitched here, so I know it's gonna be fine. We'll find out if it's fine and if it's not, you know, <laughs> then we'll have a fight, that will be fun. But Chalo, we'll come back in one week. I'm gonna go explore other parts of Pakistan right now and come back. Alhamdulillah. Andy. We're back now and we're just gonna go and uh, pick up my, my two new suits and I'll show you what one looks like as well. We'll go to the, the changing rooms. I hope they got the sizing right. Assalamu alaikum ji. So here we go. Which one do you want to try? We don't have a Azar man like... Look at this. This is the band I was talking about. I'm gonna go try this one on. And this is the other one we got. Nice. It's really cool. And it's double stitched as well. So a bit stronger than the normal kind of single stitching they usually do. You can see this. So these are huge, right? Like, look how big that is. My butt is not that big. You know, that, that's huge. So they're really, really, really baggy. And you stick this azarban through and tie it. And the Azarban, which he's putting through now with, with a pen, it is, um, it's basically a belt, yeah. And you, you tie it, then you tuck it around, or else it kind of sticks out like a, makes your stomach look huge. So you kind of fold it into, into the waistline. When I first brought a Salva Kameez, I didn't have the Azarban as well. And I was trying to work out, once I got it, how to get it through, just like he's done here. And this is exactly what I came up with. I didn't Google it, I'm just like, I just attached it to a pen and just, Put it through the waistband there. Awesome. Cool, let's go try it on. Okay, be back in a sec. Look at this, guys. Look at that. It's come out so nice and I'm looking quite elegant. You know, it's, it's this round collar and it's just because it's a little bit more fitted, right? The style, the patan style is a, is a little, little bit more like looser and you've got the collar. It's a little, I don't know, more casual I find, but this is looking a lot more kind of professional, right? Like it's the color too, it's the gray and we don't have, we have a, it's not rounded at the bottom of the korata, right? It's a straight one. So I like the style as well. You'll find this a lot in, in Punjab here. This is what most of my Punjabi friends wear this kind of rounded collar. And then we have the normal Patan style, which I love as well in the kind of the, the off-white color. And the fitting is perfect. So the sleeves are not too long, right? 
when you buy it ready made, they can be like a few centimeters too long. And the legs, it's not too long either. This is not gonna be falling on the ground, okay? It's just right for my body. And just a little bit fitted, you know? Tiny bit fitted. It's a little bit, a little bit more fitted than normal, so yeah. Looking good, I'm really, really happy with, with what I got here. So that's that, look at my suit. Come and get your own suit stitched. Just one thing, like, if you want it nice and loose, like the Patans wear it, tell them you want Patan style, like nice and loose. Like, I was a bit shocked at how tight this was, but actually it looks really good. It looks, it's very professional, very, what's the word? Ah, it's slim fit, fitting. It looks pro. I'm looking good in this thing, so yeah. I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty happy. Yeah.